Single dosing is a technique that's becoming increasingly popular among home baristas. If you're not familiar, the technique simply involves leaving your hopper empty, weighing out each dose of beans as you need them, and grinding them directly into your portafilter. We've long been huge fans of this technique. The biggest reason is that it allows you to store your coffee in an airtight container instead of in the hopper. This keeps your coffee fresher for longer, which is a big plus for home baristas who are only pulling a few shots a day. The other benefit is that you can generally use the same single dose grind setting for a wide variety of coffees, which makes it easy to switch up your coffees and keep things interesting. The first thing to know if you're interested in single dosing is that not all grinders are good at it. Grind retention is the single greatest factor in whether a given model will be a good single doser, so we highly recommend watching our grind retention video if you haven't already. Another huge factor, one that's much more difficult to quantify, is the rate at which a grinder grinds and dispenses coffee. We touched on this lightly in our grind retention video with the Eureka Atom. Its auger prevents a single dose of beans from easily falling into the burrs. This greatly increases grind time. Everything from hopper design to the burr chamber to the shape of a grinder's paddle wheels and chute can affect how long it will take to grind a single dose. The grinders I'll be showing you today are the ones we most frequently recommend to those looking to single dose. The experience is slightly different with each, but the one thing they all have in common is that they have very low grind retention. Let's take a look at the Barazza Sete 270. Anyone who knows anything about the home espresso market will tell you that the 270 is one of the best single dosing grinders out there. The incredibly short grind path in combination with the unique drive system that turns the upper burr instead of the lower one makes for a total retention of about 0.5 grams. The design is also meant to ensure that beans don't get knocked back up into the hopper, or popcorn as it's commonly called. This means that even without the pressure of a full hopper, the beans stay settled against the burrs and grind up in a timely fashion. Grinding a 20 gram dose with the Sete 270 only takes about 10 seconds on average, which is no small feat. That said, Barazza knows how to put the money where it counts, which is why this grinder will deliver great results for years to come. Next up, we have the Eureka Mignon Specialita. It's a rare breed, a flat burr grinder with incredibly low retention of around 1.3 grams. Its hopper and neck design also prevent popcorning by narrowing down to a relatively small opening so that the beans don't have a lot of space to play around. In the burr chamber, you can see another unique design feature that helps keep the grounds moving. The entire lower burr platform spins. This generates angular momentum, spinning the grounds out to the edges of the burr chamber so they're more easily pushed out the chute. Grinding a 20 gram dose takes 12 to 14 seconds, which is slightly longer than the Sete 270, but still really impressive. Now let's take a look at the Maycap M7D. It's one of a small group of large conical burr grinders we offer here at Clive. Its large burrs mean that the surrounding burr chamber is considerably larger than those of the previous two grinders we looked at. That results in an increase in grind retention, about 4.5 grams, but that jump in grind retention isn't that big when you consider the jump in burr size. The place where the M70 lacks is in single dosing speed. Grinding a 20 gram dose can take up to 20 seconds, which is considerably slower than the first two grinders we looked at. This is primarily caused by the design of the burr chamber, which has a lot of open space. The lower tension means you won't have to worry much about purging, but just be ready for longer grind times than you might expect. The last grinder we'll be looking at is the Compact E10. This is another large conical burr grinder that we recommend for single dosing. The grind retention is similar to the M7D, sitting around 4.7 grams, but it dispenses the grounds far more quickly, only taking 10 to 12 seconds to grind a 20 gram dose. For many, the convenience of being able to single dose so quickly is well worth the price. Compaq also offers a metal single dosing cup, which makes the process feel premium. It has the secondary benefit of reducing the height to just 18.5 inches. We enjoy single dosing with all four of these grinders, but they each offer a slightly different experience. Comment with your favorite below, and be sure to let us know if you have any other questions about single dosing. You can watch our grind retention video here, and be sure to hit subscribe for more in-depth coffee knowledge.